welcome to the Varsity Sports Zone here on the Cool Channels. Thanks for tuning back in. We've got a lot going on here in Southwest Georgia, so let's kick it right off with some news of some college signings around the area. Let's start in Damascus. Over at Southwest Georgia Academy, Cam Whitaker, star baseball player over there for the Warriors of Southwest Georgia Academy. Great name, Cam Whitaker, for baseball. He signs his letter to play baseball next year at Bruton Parker College in Mount Vernon. Cam ended the 2012 season hitting 380 with eight doubles, 15 RBIs, and 26 runs scored. We wish Cam all the best as he heads to Bruton Parker up in Mount Vernon. Over in Moultrie at Colquitt County High School, Lee Wright signs with Abraham Baldwin College to continue his golf career there. Lee, a 6'6", 250-pounder. With that size, you know he can hit the ball a long way. He helped guide the Packer golf team to a Region 1 5A championship this season. Lee averaged 75 over this past season as we wish him the best of luck as he heads to ABAC up there in Tifton. Staying with the Packer golf team, Vaughn Stripling signs his letter to play at the next level at Darton College in Albany. As you know, Darton College is a golf powerhouse in the NJCAA. Uh, last five years, they've won the national title three times. So Vaughn Stripling going up there to add his expertise on that team. Striplin in 2012 averaged a 71 during his 2012 season and also was a part of that Region 1 5A championship up there in Colquitt County. So we wish Vaughn Stripling the best of luck as he heads to Darton College. Let's stay at Colquitt County High School and wish Megan May the best of luck as she signs a softball scholarship to head to North Georgia College and State University up in Donega. Now, Megan could have gone both ways with soccer or softball. She chose to go softball, but here's an interesting part. Megan last week was, the, was named the Region 1 5A Soccer Player of the Year for girls soccer. So Megan, when she gets up there to North Georgia State, she could possibly play softball and then play soccer, uh, go two-sport athlete up there. So we wish nothing but the best for Megan as she heads to North Georgia. Let's head over to Camilla. We, had a, we have a great signing over there. Miss Sydney Smith from Westwood School over there. She is a four-time GISA state tennis champion there for the Wildcats in Camilla. We were able to catch up with Sydney along with the rest of the Wildcat tennis team earlier this week to talk about their state championships over in Camilla. Bobby Lattimore here with Varsity Sports Zone with some very special guests the 2012 Class A GISA Women's State Tennis Champions. Ladies, congratulations. Thank you. What I'm gonna have them do right now is introduce themselves, starting over here at the left. I'm Callie Smith. I'm Ashley Bush. I'm Lincoln Lewis. I'm Savannah Jones. I'm Sydney Smith. I'm Claire Collins. I'm Mary Parker Westbrook. I'm Melissa Mead. Girls. Cindy, your spokesman, they nominated you the spokesman for the group. Thanks. How does it feel? I mean, you're state champs. It was fun. It was fun because our team dynamic changed from last year. We had some new players with Alyssa and Callie, and Ashley came up there with us this year, so it was fun. Well, we lost our state championship doubles team, but Ashley and Claire and Callie and Mary pulled up the, you know, they played good, and then... Uh, Lakin played with bronchitis and still played really good and won. So. And we're joined here right now by Ms. Carol Powell, the coach of the 2012 GISA State Women's Tennis Champions. Coach, congratulations to you. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about this team. Last year you won it also. This year you won it again. Tell me the differences between the team if there are any. Well, we had we lost three seniors last year and. Two of those seniors won the doubles championship last year in Macon, so we were we were a little short in the doubles area. Um, this particular team, we knew we we knew pretty sure we could count on Sydney and Savannah for wins in the singles, but the rest of it was sort of up in the air. Um, the two doubles teams came in three and four in region, and when we got to Macon, they played a different tennis game when they got there. They beat everybody that they played until we got to the semifinals 
and then my number four doubles team from the region ended up beating the number one team from our region and that threw them into the state championship for doubles and that was Callie Smith an eighth grader who is Sydney's little sister and Mary Parker who this is her first year of actually getting to go to Macon and to Augusta when when you do a team competition like this you, you know, I knew I could count on Sydney. I was pretty sure I could count on Savannah. And we had we had to get one more win. And we're thinking, oh, where's it gonna come from? And it ended up coming from our number two doubles team, which was Callie and Mary. They actually got through first in the state competition in Augusta, and then Sydney got through. Savannah uh, lost a really tough tie break in the first set. She came back and won the second set, 7-5, which meant she was gonna have to play a third set if we were gonna get that victory from her. And that was it. So we had a ninth grader who n sealed the deal for us with a serve, an ace, I might add. And so at that point, Savannah was through. Um, she did finish her second set, which she won, so. Ladies, coach, congratulations. Back-to-back -back state champions. We want to wish all these fine student athletes, as well as others that we didn't get reports on, signing, college, signing their college scholarships to go play at the next level. We wish them the best on continuing their education and their athleticism as they go on to the next level. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll get you caught up on all the golf here in Southwest Georgia. As promised, we're bringing you golf here on the Varsity Sports Zone to get you all caught up here with the region finals and the state finals here for 2012. Let's head out to the 1-3-A Golf Region Championship held at Cairo Country Club these past couple weeks ago. It was a very surprising cold day, as you can see, with a lot of the players in jackets and long pants. You can see all the Region 1-3-A players uh, hanging out, getting ready to start. Let's hear from the host of the Region 1-3A tournament, the head golf coach at Cairo High School, Jeff Littleton. Hello everybody, Bobby Latimore here at Varsity Sports Zone with Coach Littleton of the Cairo men's golf team coach. Region tournament here in Cairo, how's it feel? Good, it's a little chilly out there. Yeah, that wind's going to play a little havoc today, isn't it? Yeah, the real golfers are going to come out, no doubt. No doubt about that. Now Coach, you've got a couple good golfers on your team. Madison Freeman and, and Ryan Roberson are playing one and two. Uh, they average uh, uh, about 90. Uh, they're our two best uh, scores for men's. Our women's team 
Kayla Wilburn, uh, she has an average of 84 for the year, and uh, they hope to do well today. First two groups will be, uh, there'll be a lot of good golf with the men's, with the boys' team, and then the girls, the first group will have a, a good, good team there as well. So we'll have some good golf. Let's catch up with some number ones playing today at the Region 1 3A Championship and see what they have to say about the conditions of today. And I'm here with Kayla Wilborn of the women's golf team at Cairo High School. Kayla, how are you today? Good, how are you? Now, it's chilly out there today. You're wearing a short sleeve shirt here. Is that going to affect you today? No, sir. So the wind's not going to play havoc on you? Um, it might. <laughs> it might? It might. So talk to me about the conditions this morning. Um, it's pretty chilly. Um, there's a lot of wind out there. Um, it's definitely going to affect um, the golf ball and where it goes. How important is it for you to have region here at Cairo High, uh, Country um, Club? It's very important because this is my home course. Um, I'm very, this is very uh, normal. Are you ready for it? Yes, sir. Okay, then we wish you nothing but the best of luck today. Go Thank get them. Thank you. Bobby Latimore here at the Sports Zone here with Madison Freeman of the Cairo Golf Team. Madison, how you doing this morning? I'm good. It's a little cold outside today. Well, talk to me about that. Is that going to affect your play today? Uh, I hope not, but... Uh, we'll see. Now, Back to 18. How in, it's 18 today, that's right. Yes, so, so how important is it to you to have this region at Cairo Country Club? It's pretty important. Man. We've been practicing a lot every day, and then we've been having a meet almost every week, tw sometimes twice a week. And so we're pretty prepared. We try our hardest. Tyler, welcome to the Sports Zone. How are you feeling this morning? Feeling good. Uh, it's a little windy outside, kind of cool. Should make for a good day. Well, talk to me about the conditions right now. Of course, golf's very, you know, it depends on a lot of the conditions and a lot of time you play with. Now, it's chilly out there today. It is. Is uh, that going to affect your play any? Oh, uh, when it's cold, my muscles seem to tense up a little more than, you know, than usual. But, I mean, get warmed up, get loose, get my head in, I should be good to go. Jordan, how you doing this morning? Good. Conditions out there pretty tough this morning, aren't they? It's pretty tough, windy, and pretty cool. All right, is that going to affect your play today? Not too bad. So you're ready to go? Yes, sir. I feel pretty good. I should shoot about 85, 84. So it should be pretty Jarrell, good. welcome to the Sports Zone. Appreciate it. J you won this tournament last year. Yes, sir. What do you expect to do this year? Hopefully I can win it again. I hear you. I hear you. What about the conditions this morning? Real windy, real cold. The ball's not going to be flying as far. So I guess I got to play the long ball today and hit it as best as I can under windy conditions. Hit the ball as best as I can, score, score low, and that's all. That's all about golf, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's Have about fun. it, isn't it? Have fun. No doubt about it. You, you ready to go? Yes, sir. I'm ready well, to go. Jarrell, good luck to you today. Appreciate it. Let's check out some of the highlights. Defending champion Jarrell Hubbard gets things started with a nice drive off the of first tee. Tyler Cooper, number one for Worth County, puts in for his par on the first. Madison Freeman, number one for Cairo, also puts into save par after an adventurous first hole for him. Kayla Wilborn shows perfect form here on her tee shot at number 11. She sinks the putt in for her birdie. Kayla finished with an 85. Let's check out the rest of Region 13A and see how they finished up. Oh, did y'all like that music? That was retro golf music. That's back in my day when they, Jack Nicholas, Johnny Miller, Arnold Palmer, all those guys used to compete. That's my kind of music. That makes me want to get out and play. Well, maybe after the show today, we'll see. Now, let's take a look at other region results here in Southwest Georgia. Now let's take a look at the 2012 GHSA state final results for golf.
Welcome back, everybody, here to the Varsity Sports Zone on the Cool Channels here in Southwest Georgia. We wish nothing but the best to all the seniors going on to play golf at the next level and wish the best to all the underclassmen coming back next season for another great season of golf here in Southwest Georgia. Now, let's head out to some track results here from 2012. Let's take a look at the sectional results and see who qualified for state from Southwest Georgia. As you can see, we had several high schools represented here from Southwest Georgia and the fine student athletes that participated in those sectional meets. Let's take a look and see how they finished up in the state. Everybody you saw from the sectional results qualified for the state. Let's see how they did in the state. We got some highlights from the girls 2012 GHSA state finals. Let's take it up to Hugh Mill Stadium up in Albany. First off, let's start off with the women's 200-meter dash, representing Southwest Georgia, Kimmy Davis out of Baconton, Mallory Diamond from Miller County, and Akarian Florence from Mitchell County, all in the finals for Class A in the 200-meter race. Good start for everyone. Davis gets out strong and continues her stride to a second-place finish. Diamond comes in at sixth, and Florence finishes at seventh. From Mount Zion, it is Hannah Wood. Let's take a look at some other ladies who competed in the state finals and see where they ended up in 2012. All right, let's check out the men up in Jefferson, Georgia at Memorial Stadium up there. Also, several Southwest Georgia schools represented well in the competitions. We start with the Class A 110-meter hurdles. Marquise Copeland, representing Pelham in lane eight, gets a good start but falls off early, ends up in eighth place, but congratulations to Marquise for getting to the finals there in the 2012 state finals. The A Class A 800 meter run features 
Brighton Wenzel from Bacon Charter. He stays with the pack early. As you can see, everybody bunched up. They're coming around the first lap. Wenzel does fall short, though, coming in at sixth, as you can see as he crosses the finish line, almost running over his competitor as he stops short. But uh, congratulations to Brighton getting that sixth place finish for the 800 meter run. Let's head to the class 2A 800 meter run. TJ Witherspoon representing Thomasville High School. Good start for everyone. After the first lap, TJ crossing in in the fifth spot. Everybody bunched up as they make their turn and stays there as he crosses the finish line still in fifth place. Congratulations to TJ for a strong finish there representing Thomasville High School in the Class 2A 800 meter run. Bainbridge High School in the 4x400 finals. They stay close at first but fall off the pace as they come in for a sixth place finish there in the 2012 state finals. Let's take a look at some other of the men's competitions representing Southwest Georgia. There's a look at track for 2012. Again, we want to congratulate everybody who competed this year here in the high schools that we cover here in Southwest Georgia on the Varsity Sports Zone. Good luck to all the seniors that are continuing on with their track careers at the next level. Good luck to every, all the underclassmen that are coming back next season. We look forward to another great year of track there in 2013 for next year. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll close out this week's Varsity Sports Zone.
Welcome back, everybody, here to the Varsity Sports Zone here on the Cool Channels. As we told you earlier, there's so much going on right now in the spring. We closed out the golf and track for this year on this episode, but make sure to turn in next time real quick as we follow up with soccer and baseball to close out the 2012 season. So from everybody here at the Varsity Sports Zone and the Cool Channels, we'll see you next time.